guys, you have now tuned in to the Trucker Rudy Show. So let's get the show started. Wednesday night, today is already Tuesday, 
pretty much wasted yesterday day but uh, today and tomorrow is going to be two good days worth of driving and then we'll be home I might just uh, do a reset and go I don't know exactly yet how I'm going to do it but uh, we'll figure something out maybe I'll take two days off we'll see the wife really misses me a lot too so maybe we'll just take two days off enjoy uh, enjoy a little family time you know but we'll see I'll decide on that probably tomorrow all right GPS just says uh, RJ just said uh, state border ahead so that means uh, here in about five miles we'll be in Indiana uh, yeah uh, probably in about another hour or so we'll probably uh, Take a little break somewhere and uh, grab us a bite to eat, right? Yeah. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Only thing we had yesterday is we cooked this a little bit stew again. We didn't show any of that because we had just had stew the day before. Pretty sure you guys already know what that looks like, so. But yeah, so that's about the only meal that we had yesterday. So we're uh, we're getting hungry, but anyways, that's how we self our. Let's see why you speak right. That's have ourselves a fantastic day all together. Thanks for riding along with the trucker uh, Rudy show today, and let's get on rolling down the road. We are now back on the road again after making a little bit of a pit stop, right? Who is the pedal? Yeah. Yeah, it was a fairly big pit stop. <laughs> we had us uh, about two hours off. Yeah, we didn't plan on having that much time off, but uh, ended up doing it anyways. We uh, went in there and had us a Subway sandwich, and then uh, we were playing around with setting up the cameras for recording our uh, shifting shot. We wanted to record a shifting shot to put it into yesterday's video so you guys had a little bit more of a video for yesterday since we didn't record a whole lot yesterday so hopefully that footage will come out okay i i watched it a little bit there earlier and uh on the clocks there i'm not too happy with uh Right where the RPM clock is, there's uh, a lot of light that comes in there for some odd reason and it sort of blinds out the RPM clock. That's kind of the most important clock that I wanted to show, but for some odd reason I wasn't able to do it properly the way I wanted it. Oh well, we'll see. Maybe we'll uh, retake another shot or, or maybe we'll just leave it like that. Who knows? Maybe you guys are just gonna have to be happy with that shot. But anyways, we uh, did a shifting shot, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will be good. Hopefully, uh, I will show you guys a little bit on how I shift gears. Hopefully, uh, it's not vibrating too much or shaking or whatever too much, so you can actually see it properly. So I'm. Uh, Looking forward to watching that on the computer later on tonight. And we'll see how it turned out, but uh, yeah. The sun was just shining here a few minutes ago. Now it's a little bit cloudy, but still only plus three. But uh, hey, we are enjoying the day, aren't we? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anything else you would like to say? Nothing today? How come? I'm just excited to go home. You're excited to go home? You miss home? Yeah. That's what I figured. After the truck show, you would start missing home. I figured that. Actually, in all reality, I do miss home too. Yep, I miss the wife and my daughter. Yeah, I miss me a lot. Yeah. I bet she's gonna miss me a lot. Oh yeah, I bet when she sees us, she's gonna be very excited too. Yeah, she's gonna be excited.
excited, that's for sure. But yeah, looks like we got another 23 miles to go and I will be up uh, I-49. We'll take that over to I-80 and then uh, go across there because if I continue on on 30, there's a lot of traffic lights uh, after the 49 and that takes a long time to get through all of them lo traffic lights up there so uh, we're just going to take that 49 north and go up there to I-80 and, and then before you know it we'll be in Chicago yeah that's right but whatever we gotta we're gonna try and make it up to at least Black River Falls tonight I'm pretty sure we can make it up to there maybe even a little further and then uh, We'll make it home tomorrow night. I've been in Black River Falls a lot this year. You what? I've been in uh, Black River F Falls a couple of times this year already. Yep, yeah, that's one spot we go a lot to. And yeah, so that's the plan right now anyways. We got probably, well, we got three hours from South Beloit to uh, Black River and it's, uh, from Gary, Indiana, it's about two hours to South Beloit. Well, it's about five hours, so probably about six hours that we still have to drive. So it's 11 o'clock now, so should be able to get there around uh, maybe 5.30ish, six o'clock. Might have to do another pit stop somewhere. We might have to use the bathroom or, or whatever we have to do. Might have to fuel up yet, who knows. But uh, yeah, we might fill up in South Beloit. I, I'm almost down to half a tank right now. Well, that might be a good idea, fueling up in South Beloit. And that way we got a full tank of fuel and we'll go home and make our home tomorrow night. And we'll probably, uh, yeah, that reminds me, I gotta call my mechanic yet and tell him that I'm gonna be uh, home uh, for Thursday. So that way they can book me in for hopefully fixing my AC this time. That would be nice if they can fix my AC this time when I'm home. I really need that to be fixed, that's for sure. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and then uh, we'll show you what we can today. We are now officially in Wisconsin. That's right. Yes. Ah, what are these guys doing? They gave us the bypass lane, so, but they are open. We are uh, just going by the scale here right now, or just coming up on the scale, I guess. However, they did give me the bypass uh, lane. I can continue on. I guess this guy got the uh, light to come in. So he's gonna go in. Yeah. We've had ourselves a fantastic day though. Yep. We fueled up here in uh, South Beloit, Illinois, like we had planned to do anyways. Took us a little uh, break over there, fueled up. Got us uh, a few items to uh, snack on, I guess you could say. good to go again our goal is to make it up to uh, Black River Falls Wisconsin yeah that's about another uh, two and three quarter hours driving from where we're at now it's usually exactly three hours from when uh, when you leave the South Beloit Flying J but we're already on the road here for about 10 minutes so so yeah, we'll be at the, at the Flying J over there for the night. What do you want to say? Nothing? Hello? No? You're going to give lots of shoutouts tonight? Oh yeah, hopefully. Yeah, there's quite a few people actually saying all kinds of stuff about giving them shoutouts. So we're going to go through the list tonight, right? Yeah. And we'll see who else wants a shoutout. And then uh, we'll do a bunch of shoutouts tonight. That's kind of what we was hoping for last week. When we went out, when we announced it. 
you guys would give us lots of comments on who wanted a shout out and uh, for those of you that have done it so far we'll get a shout out tonight from Mr. Diego that's right from the man himself <laughs> yeah anyways we're just cruising right along here and it's gotten quite a bit cloudy here now lately. I don't know what it's planning on doing. I don't know if it wants to rain or snow or what the deal is, but as long as we can get home no problem, then we're good to go, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, so let's get on down the road and see what happens. We are now almost done for today. Almost. Yeah, we only got a few more miles to go and we'll be in uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. That's about 10 minutes to 6 o'clock in the afternoon, that's central time. So it's perfect timing that we said earlier, that's probably what we're going to get here to Black River Falls. I said 6 o'clock, so that means at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning we can go on duty and uh, we can get rolling here about quarter after 4 and start making our way home. So by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon it'll be 12 hours, so uh, it's very possible that I could be home around uh, 4, 35 o'clock. So that would be awesome. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna go up to to this flying J up here, and then we're uh, gonna go take us a shower, and then we'll do some shoutouts video after that, and then, uh, go to bed pretty much and get up early. Yeah, so, at least not me. Yeah, but so we can get out of here. It did rain here for a little while and I was talking to the wife here a few minutes ago and she said it was actually snowing at home. So we can still expect some white stuff maybe even tomorrow. It sounded like tomorrow we're gonna get some rain and ice showers in Manitoba it sounds like. exit for Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Oh, look at that. There's a penner there. At that little truck stop over there to the right. Cool. I have an extra long spring break compared to all the other, to all the other kids. Yes, you were supposed to be back in school yesterday. Yeah. And then tomorrow, we're only going to get home around 4.35 and school ends at like, what, 4 I think? Yeah. And I usually get home around, well, I don't know actually exactly what time it ends, but by the, I, by the time I'm home, Stop. let's go it's over by an hour or so already, so. Yeah. Oh, you still have to do all the paperwork and all that, so that might take a little longer than uh, 4.30 anyways or whatever. Might be a little after that by the time we get home. But yeah, we are just about done for today. We had a pretty good day, we just shy of 600 miles. We got exactly 600 miles from here to go home. So uh, yeah, that's about a, well, I guess a little over 10 hour drive for us anyways. For somebody else it might be 10 or even less, but uh, for us that's a little over 10 hours. So. Uh, if we keep her steady tomorrow, we could even be home a little earlier than that. Uh -huh. yeah, we might even be home around 3 o'clock or just after 3 yet if we keep her pretty steady. But we'll see how it goes. Usually we gotta go run to the bathroom every few every few hours. and I like to stop anyways, even if I don't have to go to the bathroom. I like to stop every once in a while and just go for a little walk. Let the blood circulate in your legs and all that. They say that's uh, recommended to uh, stop at least every two hours. That's what they say. That way you can get your legs circulated, the blood and all that. 
They say if you don't do that, you could have problems with blood cloth in your legs. That's at least what I've heard. If it's true, we don't know. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure it is. So, uh, I mean, there's been lots of studies on truck drivers and what did it fax them and all that. So, pretty sure that happens. But yeah, here we are at the Flying J. You can see all the water from all the rain that we've gotten. Just trying to see if there's an open spot over there. I could go park over there. Uh, it looks like I should be able to. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to go see if... As long as that truck ain't going to go in there, we're going to probably going to attempt to go in there. Ah, uh, he's going in there. Well, yeah, we don't know that yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah, almost. No, it don't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to go just... He's just going through there. That's what it looks like to me. So what we're going to try and do is squeeze through here, and then uh, we'll see if we can... Uh, in between them trucks there so you get us close to the building there and that way we can uh, have good internet there we want to try and upload some videos yet so I guess we'll call her a day and then uh, we'll see you guys all later good evening ladies and gentlemen we have had us a shower right my son so what are we looking at here today uh, your comments on YouTube yes so we are actually going to show you today on how we look at your comments and that we do take the time to read your comments and we do try to answer them comments and uh, we try to read every single one of them right mm -hmm. so that is always number one so we're actually gonna probably show this camera up here right there on the top of the corner up there somewhere and or maybe on that corner over there or maybe on that corner over there who knows right where we're gonna put it where we're gonna decide to put it and uh, then we're gonna show you on the big screen on these questions and we're gonna we're going to be replying to them and uh, we do have the screen recorder going for the uh, laptop as well and I told you guys earlier that we're going to be doing some uh, shout outs today from Mr. Diego. He's going to be doing some shout outs, right? Yeah. He's going to be reading some of the comments and uh, he's going to go through them and see who wants a shout out and we'll give those people a shout out. So let's get started here. So what do we got here? First comment one hour ago. We got a comment saying, keep up the good work. And uh, then the next comment, uh, we also had questions out there, you know, what your favorite barbecue is or- Like how you do you, how, how you, you, how you do your, how you do your barbecue cooking and stuff like that. So this person here, Taylor Z, has said, uh, mostly on barbecue, well done. That's the same as me. So uh, the next one here, we also asked what your favorite vehicle was. I don't know if it was on today's video though, but I think it was on yesterday's video when we asked that. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was, but whatever it was, it doesn't matter. They commented on, actually they did comment on yesterday's video, you see? Oh. Right there, when you where you see my mouse, that is yesterday's video. Today's video is this one here. So yeah, so they answered uh, on the correct video. So they said, my favorite vehicle is a Mack truck with a 600 horsepower diesel engine in it. Now well, that's some nice power. So what's this next one here? You want to read it? Good to see Rudy and Diego come through the Connecticut and head to my hometown of Louisville. I cook steaks as fast as possible on as a hot a fire as possible. I use a propane grill with 10% uh, by open area, board out jet for extra heat. I prefer USDA choice grade ribeye steaks, heavily seared so fast on the outside that they're still pink in the center and juicy. They generally flash fire briefly from their own fat as they sear, salt and pepper only as they are plated up. Hmm, good. That's what they said. So we're going to throw the, we're going to go through these comments and then we'll probably reply to them later. So that way we don't bore you guys with uh, the actual writing and all that because our writing sometimes sucks. <laughs> 
So this next guy here said we also cook burgers and sausages. Oh, fantastic. And the next one we cook steak with? Seasoning mix. Seasoning. My dad adds a seasoning mix to give the steak flavor. We made the ribs the same as the steaks, but the ribs aren't easy to cook than the steaks. All right. The ribs easily leak out juice. We have to watch the ribs carefully. There we go. Peter wants that shout out. Peter said, I thought I was getting a shout out too, but no, no one for me. Well, I guess uh, because that was uh, last week Tuesday when we did that video and asked for those who do, those of you that do want to have a shout out. So here it is. Hear it from the man himself. Uh, we're gonna give uh, Peter Jutberg a shout out. There you go. There you have it. You're from Germany. We do know that much. And uh, we appreciate you uh, watching our video and uh, being commenting on our videos all the time. That's a big thumbs up. If you comment on my video, my ratings go up, you know. And that's good for me. We appreciate that. Trucker Jupak said thanks for the shout out. And what's this next one here? Uh, medium, medium rare. rare. Oh yeah, a little pink inside. All right. And shout out to you, Diego. Take care and shout out to you as well, Rudy. That comes from 42 North Side, as you can obviously see on the screen there. And this man right here says he wants a shout out from this uh, man over here. Oh, okay. Ike, ready? We're going to give you a shout out too. Uh, yes. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. Got something that's bugging me right here. Alrighty. So the next one here says, Oh yeah, it's time to watch Trucker Rudy. And he's referring to the intro that uh, Diego and Trucker Jukebox made. That's fantastic that you guys are liking it. Yes, we do like it as well. And so we want to move on to the next one. Nice day outside, Trucker Rudy. Have a good day. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Good morning from Steve Burr. Good morning, Rudy and Diego. Thanks for the shout out today. Great video today, as always. Then for ta taking us along. Have a great and safe day. And safe day. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ooh. We need that. The polished wheels. Uh, oh, Byron. His his uh, how do you pronounce that his cock i don't know i don't know how else you would pronounce that okay the polished wheels nuts and center caps look a million dollars i like to use hickory breads or a splash of red wine for taste on my barbecue beef well that's a good taste i love having red wine on a steak as well or i've never tried it yeah that's very nice that, that i sometimes uh, mar marinate uh, the meat like that oh of course now my buzzer is going to go off and it's probably going to go off a few times before my ap and it will kick in mm -hmm. but uh, i hope it won't annoy you guys too much i really hope the ap unit is going to come on here very soon so shout out to steve from belgium 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 Belgium. No, it's Sivin. Belgium. I think Savine. We'll Savine. give you a shout out then. Savine, gonna uh Hofsteed, I'm gonna give you a shout out. Cause you wanted one. There you go. There Would you have it. And so now you're ten times cooler. Cause <laughs> would be cool, you know. Yes, so. there you go. And uh, oh yeah, so the alarm went out, so that's fantastic. So the next one is you and Diego remember me reminds me of my oh, dad. reminds me of my dad see I can't read sometimes or sometimes it is hard for me but I try anyways you know you I might went, laugh I, at me but I went with him in the 60s got it got it got in my blood and drove my 90s 1978 white FRTL do you know what that is no idea for, for 17, 17 years yeah. She got me through two million miles and a lot of memories, Joey. There you go. Wow. My old Lexus S ES. ES 330 I bought new. All right, so that's Rogers. That's Roger Holloway, his favorite car. 1967 Dodge Charger, Anthony. And uh, 
42 north side oh yeah we also had a question on the other which days. which one do you like better when the sun comes up or yeah the sun goes which on? one do you like yeah so better? sunrise is the best the beginning of a new day okay. awesome awesome i fish hunt and go camping yes that's right so here you can see what i wrote him back so you can read for yourself so for semi trucks volvo 780 freightliner cascada and kenworth cascadia Cascadia and Kenworth T680. Uh, pickup truck Ford Raptor Car Dodge Viper. There you go. Cool. He's got it all. <laughs> Ford F150 diesel by. 250. 250, yes. 250. What's his name? Jumwa Yako. Alright. Well, you're better pronouncing than me, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm guessing. I bet I bet Siri wouldn't be any better because no. I, 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 my favorite uh, is a mask Mac Mac <laughs> man sometimes I'm terrible with reading stuff but the older the better huh? the older the better yes uh, John says great new intro oh, there you go that's lovely so you did an awesome job in creating the new intro oh Paul and Andre Janit, I have my favorite. Oh, that's always good. GMC Sierra 4x4 door 2012 and the Audi A6 2013, and I love them. There you go. Ooh. What's the next one here? Uh, uh, Mark Muir, uh, aircraft of any type is my favorite vehicle. Second is a truck, and last but not least um, is a motorcycle. Good taste. Here, this guy sent me a picture of a favorite vehicle, and I have already looked at this comment, and it is a very nice Ford truck. No, Kenward, I meant to say. Let's have a look at it. Let's see. I was kind of hoping this was going to open it in a separate picture, but uh, I guess it doesn't do that. Let's see if we can... Nope, it doesn't let me make it any bigger, but... Uh, Alright, that came from, okay, now we're going to have to go back to where that comment was, nope, that's not that high, or that low, I mean, here it is, yeah, from this person right here, MLB1276 said that this was his favorite truck. That's a cool truck. It looks like a European type of truck. Yeah. That's what I would say, yes. Next person here says Volvo VN L780, that's what I got. Very nice truck. My favorite vehicle, all right, is a pickup truck. Pickup truck, nice. Uh, love the opening, they're right. It is time to watch Trucker Rudy from Ike Ready. Yeah, there you go. Nice sunset day to drive. Trucker Rudy. Trucker Rudy have a good day. Alright, so he likes the sunset. Hey guys, well my favorite car would be the 69 Chevy Chevelle. Chevelle. Alright, I've heard of that car before. My favorite semi would be a Kenworth W900 all straight, all stretched out and custom paint. Oh man, that beeper is. Very I like watching annoying. the sun go down, chase down, go down, chase. Um, I'm a night owl. I hate getting up before the sun. <laughs> you too, be safe. There you go. See, I knew, I knew that would be a good question. It's, it's, there you it's, go. It's, it's not the most co common or. Yeah, yeah. Jukebox trucker jukebox says car. It would be a 1972. Nova. Nova. And I commented back, I've never heard that name before, and he likes a 379 Peterbilt. That's you know, right. what I've noticed a lot is a lot of people like 1900 cars. Mm -hmm. That's that's interesting. Great commentary. Diego, at the truck show, you are a natural in, for, in front of the camera, just like Rudy. My favorite semi would have to be a Volvo or maybe a Kenworth W900 for the 
classic look but I have never been in North America man pretty soon we're gonna have to unplug you <laughs> yikes yeah, I, I know that's annoying but I can't do anything about it really but uh, yeah he says he's not from North America uh, in the UK Volvo and Scania are the most popular big rig big rigs make mix through so though we just have cup convert cab over cab overs yeah that's what he's trying yeah. to say cab overs due to legal restrictions so i guess he's talking about length restrictions length restrictions yes i would say my favorite oh finally the ap unit is coming on so we won't have that annoying beeping for a while for a while I would say my favorite favorite personal vehicle would have to be a Ford F-150. Ford F-150. All right, let's go down. Oops, a little too high. Favorite car would be a station wagon like a Audi RS6. Station wagons like the Audi. Yeah, station wagons. Yeah. Convenient yeah. because of the rooms, but still looks great. Yeah yeah looks great and sometimes they are very deceiving some people think they have no power but some of them they have some awesome power behind them we got a 1969 z28 camaro, camaro. very familiar with that car mm -hmm. well i shouldn't say very but i'm familiar with that car and i know a buddy of mine used to have one and looked very nice nice power it is, says Mine, my, uh, uh, my restore, uh, no. My favorite, I'm restoring mine this summer for okay. semi, for semi trucks Volvo and Western Star. Have fun boys. There you go, that's awesome. We are going to tag Junior to, or teach Junior to drive that rig, rig, uh, that rig, yeah, that rig of yours. All right, we're going to teach him to drive that big rig of mine. All right, awesome. When are you going to? Glad <laughs> had, glad. I guess he's trying to say glad you guys had fun at Matt's. Just saw a uh, truckernews.com of the of a story on April first of the ice road trucker show and had a picture of you and your son with alex from the show so congrats on making it on there yeah we checked it out we actually found it and finally we, yeah it took us a little bit but we made it we found it and uh, yeah our picture was on there well what can i say i didn't put it up there somebody else did and so these are already comments from the prior days where I have already replied. So I think we are done with uh, most of these. I think most of these we have uh, already looked at and replied. So I think we're good in this department. All right, so we're not gonna show any more of this. So we are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, insight on uh, reading our comments so uh, we appreciate it big thumbs up to my subscribers for leaving a lot of comments and we will try to get back to them here now after the show or maybe tomorrow we'll see when we get time and then uh, we'll call it a day yeah so appreciate you guys watching I know this video is starting to get a little lengthy but uh, Hey, we had a crappy day yesterday, so we may as well make up for it today. Yeah. I hope you guys don't mind us sitting there talking away and showing you a little bit on behind the scene on what goes on on the Trucker Rudy Show. So we do read your comments, and we appreciate every single one of you that comments on my channel. And that means there's great interaction between us, and uh, that's what I want to base my channel on, is just having a good community where we can talk to each other and leave comments and I can reply to your comments and sometimes with the help of my son we can get the questions or answers or whatever you put in there or we can correctly read it between the two of us sometimes I need his help and sometimes I correct him <laughs> that is true that is yeah. true yeah so but if you guys haven't noticed we're using the 
light from uh, Knight's Transportation. Yeah, we put Dad, it up Dad there. likes it a lot. Yeah. It looks better. So. so. With that being said, have a good one and give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you liked it. If you liked it, also share it because if you liked it, somebody else probably liked it. So with that being said, stick around for tomorrow. We got some video coming up tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye for now. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.